food items are here, here. Residents in 15 counties are relying on the food bank of the Albemarle more than ever. We're ready to go out for the community. With a 53% increase in distribution, um, we've just not had the volunteer help coming in. Since September, Brian Gray tells us the number of volunteers has dropped by 60%. With all the changes that, uh, that you know, um, COVID has brought uh, to our work lives and home lives, and um, it's just been very difficult for people to, to even make it out. They've counted on National Guard soldiers to volunteer, but they have been reassigned to other missions throughout North Carolina. Officials also say concerns surrounding the pandemic has contributed to that drop, and that's leaving remaining volunteers strained. Having someone that uh, gives her all all the time it can it can be a it can be a hardship on them as well and that you know you can experience burnout that's why they need extra hands it's a great opportunity to give back um, you know in your community some of the jobs the volunteers will be doing include sorting through boxes even packing boxes but that's not all we need people that can help with office filing um, tasks some uh, some general light cleaning, things like that. The facility expects volunteers to follow COVID-19 protocols, such as wearing face masks and social distancing. Hours and days are flexible, and we'll have the food bank's info on WTKR.com if you want to help. It's a fulfilling thing to give back in your community uh, if you're concerned um, about hunger.